hey guys welcome back to the channel so i'm finally dipping into the beauty bay earthy palette and she is so stunning definitely appropriate for the fall so i'm gonna go into the shade squash and that's gonna be my transition shade so i'm gonna just tap her all over the crease and blend her out and i'm just packing on that color and using circular motions to blend out the edges. So now to deepen up the crease, I'm taking the shade Herd, which is like a beautiful khaki, like brownish green shade. Um, so if you're scared of like greens, this is definitely a perfect like neutral shade. So I'm just going to be focusing that in the crease of my eye really just blending and packing on the color. So now for the lid shade, I'm gonna take the shade Pickle, and this is more of a moss green shade. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter, but this shade does slightly oxidize, um, so it does get a little bit darker, but I'm taking this and I'm putting this also into the crease, just blending it all over the lid. I did about two to three layers of this eyeshadow on each eye. So now I'm going back into squash and diffusing those edges and bringing in that warmth. So now I'm taking the shade Ray, which is this beautiful iridescent like green. It's like a white green. And I'm popping that on the inner tear duct area and then slowly bringing that onto the lid and diffusing it. So now I'm adding liquid liner, and this is the one size um, point made liquid liner. This is Bodacious Black, and I've had this liner for like a year, and I haven't experienced any skipping. It's super black, and it's matte. I love this liner so much. So now it's lash time. I'm taking these lashes from Lash 7 in crystal and she is giving honey so we're gonna go ahead and work on that lower lash line i'm taking the shade squash again and i'm really just blowing her out underneath the eyes because i'm trying to hide these fine lines okay so i'm just blending that out and then i'm going into the shade herd and i'm packing that on the lower lash line i did add a black in the water line so i'm just setting that with the shade herd And now I'm just touching up that inner corner because I really want it to pop. And now I'm dusting away my baking powder that I had sitting. And can we talk about this nose contour? Like this powder really helped snatch my nose and it looked like I highlighted my nose and I didn't like, come on. So now I'm taking this Be Perfect highlighter and this is their polar vortex line and we are gonna add some glow to the skin and you need the tiniest bit because this baby is super pigmented so just have a light hand and blend her out and i'm highlighting the brow bone you know giving a little extra glow And now I set the face using a setting spray and I'm drying that down. If you guys hear any noise in the background, that is my daughter sitting beside me. So now I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going over the highlighted areas to really help that highlighter pop. And this is the final look. Bye, guys.